Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to understand one particular feature of Amazon Athena and that is using parameterized queries. Okay, so what are those? How to use this? How to prepare this? How to remove this? Or how these kind of queries can help us to serve the business needs with less effort or with one time effort and reusable code related to these topics I am going to discuss in today's video. Okay. So what is that? Let us try to understand what it is written in Amazon documentation. That is, you can use Athena parameterized queries to rerun the same query with different parameter values at execution time and help prevent SQL injection attack. Okay. So basically in simple words, Athena parameterized queries is such feature of Athena using which you can create your SQL query once and then different parameter values you can just change and then the same query you can reuse in multiple inputs okay so like if i give you one example suppose here this is the query select star from the database name then the table name where year equal to this month equal to this and day equal to this like that suppose you are writing a query okay now suppose you are providing some fixed fellow then the query will return the output for that particular year for that particular month and for that particular day but suppose you are creating a prepared statement or parameterized queries okay so instead of putting hard coded value if you put question mark that will be nothing but your parameterized queries where basically the query expect the parameters that what should be the value of year what should be the value of month or what should be the value of day that you need to pass so if you see the screenshot here that when we are writing the query here we need to enter the parameter for year for month and for day then automatically those values will be coming in the question mark and against those values this particular query will be executed and it will give us the result set okay so in simple words i can say that again and again if we need this kind of query then instead of a hard coded value the parameterized query or prepared statement is a better approach right just you prepare this query once and whenever you need you put the condition properly in your filter part and use that okay so how to do that let us try to understand so in s3 if i go to iris data this particular bucket here i have uploaded our popular iris data set which is containing the columns like sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class name right which we generally use in our machine learning or data science related project kind of hello world data set so what i will do i will create an athena table pointing to this location so if i go to athena here first i am executing a drop statement if exist iris demo then it will drop that query executed successfully then here i am creating a table having name iris demo i am providing the schema sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and variety and then here i am specifying the separated is comma if escape character is there those things we are specifying stored as text file here we are mentioning the location and in our csv file the first row is header so here we are mentioning that avoid the first row okay so let's execute this particular query okay sorry i need to select this properly and here if i execute that let's see query successful now if i do select start from iris demo we will able to see the data right see sepal length sepal with petal length petal with variety so that way we are having proper data if you see the variety class it is setosa then here if you scroll below here you will get farsi color and then if you scroll more below here you will get farcinica also somewhere okay so here farsi color maybe next page it is there see here farcinica class is there okay cool now suppose i want to get the sum of sepal length column okay for a particular class so if i want for setosa class i might execute the query like this is select sum of sepal length from our table where variety equal to setosa so let's run this particular query and we are getting this particular value okay suppose i need to get the sum of sepal length for the variety for Chinica, then i can basically execute this kind of query and i can basically save this value for future reference and suppose i need for farsi color what is the sum of sepal length I can execute this kind of query and here I will get the result properly, right? Now suppose in your business activity, this particular sum of sepal length computation for different different variety is required often. So what you can do, you can create this as a prepared statement. Just keep this particular variety part as variable 
and just execute that particular prepared statement with the parameter that for which variety you want to get the sum of sample number. Okay, that way the reusable code you can generate. Okay, so how to prepare the uh, parameterized query? It is very simple. You have to use prepare keyword. Okay, prepare. Then what is the prepared statement name? So like here I have given the name iris fulla. You can give any name. Okay, as per your wish. Prepare iris fulla from and then here is my prepared statement. Select sum of sepal length from our iris demo table where variety equal to question mark. So here in question mark we need to pass the parameter whenever we want to execute the query. Okay. So let's prepare the prepared statement. Okay. So here the prepared statement is prepared. Okay. Now suppose I want to get the sepal length sum for the class setosa okay and we, then we should get two result as 250.299 something right so let's see so if i want to execute this prepared statement all i need to do i need to execute that using execute word okay execute then the prepared statement name so in our case prepared statement name is iris fulla so i will provide execute iris fulla using setosa okay when you are using using clause then here this particular value it will consider that instead of question mark this particular value we will be placing okay so execute iris fuller using setosa so let's execute this particular query okay and you will see that we are getting 250.299 something and if you see that when you executed this particular query here we got this same result okay suppose i am executing this particular prepared statement with virginica using virginica okay so if you are doing that then we are getting 329 point something and this particular query gave us the same result okay suppose i want for farsi color okay so let's execute this one if i am executing here i am getting 296.8 okay so this way you can understand here just the parameter we are changing the base query is as it is and here i have shown with one particular example like that here you can have multiple filter condition that is not at all problem okay for all the filter condition in the where class, you can basically put question mark instead of hard coded value and while executing the query, you can pass those as parameter. Okay, right. So I hope you understood like here in the documentation in the where class, they have provided multiple parameters in the where class. So like that way also you can do. Here I have shown with one particular example, right. I hope you got the point. Now let's see how to do this using Python because now we understood how to do this in console. Now let's see how to do this in python it, it will be very simple again so here what i am doing here i am in google collab notebook first i will install goto3 okay so here it is installed now here i will import goto3 and here aws access key and secret key already i created which is having access for executing athena queries and all so here i will just run that particular shell and here i am creating my session okay that is access key we are providing secret key we are passing and the region is us east one because for my case in athena i am using in north virginia region that is basically in us east one right so i am passing that region accordingly for your case if it is if you are working on some other region you put accordingly okay here i am creating the client for our athena okay now suppose i have already created a prepared statement now i want to execute that it is same like how we generally execute any SQL query in Athena using Boto3. That is here, always we have to call the execute statement only. There is execute iris fulla using this kind of way. Okay. So that same thing here I have written query to be executed and then here the query which it has to be executed that one we have kept. Okay. Suppose in this case the parameter we are passing as setosa. For that the outcome I want to get. Okay. So now this query is common like earlier I discussed. First, we are starting the query execution, and here, whenever Athena query is executed, it generally stores the result set in a particular location. So here, we are mentioning in which location it should store the result in S3. Like in this case, it will be basically there is a bucket AWS log. So if I refresh here, currently there is no logs with Athena. So we are saying in this code that in that particular location in Athena logs folder, you should be writing the logs whatever will be generated due to this particular query execution. Okay. Then here I am taking the query execution ID and here initially the query might be in queued state. Then it will go to running state and then it will either go to failed state or success state, right? So basically here I am taking the query execution ID and then here I am running an infinite loop, okay? Each time we are basically checking the status, whether the status is queued or running. 
if it is queued or running we are continuing or else if the status is not queued or running that means either it is failed or success we are breaking this infinite for loop okay and then here we are fetching the query results right basically from in s3 location the query results will be stored from there it will send a stream of data in the response right so just uh, let's run this one before that i will just make sure whether this cells is executed or not okay this is executed now i will run this particular cell and here it is going to take some time and it is done okay right and if i just uh, print the response let's see how we will get the response so see here response we are getting in the data part here in the value we are getting 250.299 okay so if you see in our athena also when we pass the parameter as setosa here we got 250.299 right so that is how it is working right you, even you can basically format this particular response properly loading pandas data frame directly read from s3 etc all this activity you can do but i hope you got the point that how to execute a prepared statement from boto3 using python in athena okay it is very simple just like how we execute normal sql query in that same way in the start query execution you can pass the query mention the database name and then here you have to pull once the query status is not queued or running that means it is complete you have to fetch the results okay and if you go to s3 location here if i refresh this particular place here see athena logs folder is created and if you go inside that here csv file is there even i can show you the result so if i just do query with s3 select and if i run this sql query here you will see that the result is stored in our list perfect right so i hope you understood this concept and one more thing i would like to draw your attention that let's see the query execution id what the athena returned that is basically adf this okay the interesting fact is that in s3 if you go the file will be having same name okay if you see in athena logs this is the csv file where the query result is stored okay and if you see the athena query execution id is this if we just search here control f and if i paste this one see the csv file in which the result set is written and the query execution id are basically same okay that is another point which might be helpful to you for different programming so just i thought to share with you like here you can see the csv file is having this name and the athena query execution id is having the same value okay right so i hope you overall you understood this particular concept is very important because it increase the reusability just prepare your sql query once and use it as many times as you want just change the where clause whenever needed okay and this particular concept generate a very important feature and that is basically data as a service you might have heard that platform as a service software as a service or infrastructure as a service now athena parameterized queries or prepared statement provide as a opportunity to have data as a service okay because here just think like this way suppose customer need to fetch this kind of data just by changing the uh, condition and this kind of operation they are doing frequently then you can start in the data very quickly just do your development one time and then customer can change the filter value from the front end and you can start the data right so related to that this particular blog is there which you can explore they have already shared a particular framework also where the web application user can send the input filter conditions and then those filter conditions will be applied on the prepared statement and then it will generate the result set and share with the user okay the complete architecture is there this is called data as a service okay because we are serving our data whenever user is needed just user need to provide the input what is the where clause conditions or parameters right so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you